This is an instructional video for the Genesis Vision Alpha version of the Manager Portal. In this video, I will be explaining how to create an account, how to verify an email address, how to log in, navigate the platform. I will be explaining what different terms and buttons mean, as well as how to create a program and then use your login details sent to you by Genesis Vision to your email to then download MetaTrader and log in and begin trading and getting trades on the Genesis Vision platform so that you can later on start accepting investments. To begin, we wanna to go to genesis.vision and we want to go to the top right corner and click Manager. What we are looking at here is the manager portal homepage. These are different investments by other managers on the platform. These could be individual investors or teams of investors. It doesn't really matter, but this is what you're looking at. These are essentially your competition. You can view their profiles to see what their history is like, what industries they trade, what fees they charge, and so on. We'll go up to the top right corner and click sign in. Because we don't have an account, we need to sign up. So click the sign up button. Enter a unique username. For this, we would do gvdemo123. Enter our email. And a unique password. Click sign up. This will then send us an email that we need to verify. So go to your email inbox, wait for it to come in. Now that we see that the email has come to our inbox, we need to click on registration, click confirm your email. This will open a new page that will have you logged into the Genesis Vision Manager Portal homepage. As you can see, as I explained earlier, these are the different investment programs. And over here, your account has been funded with 1,000 GBT play tokens these are not real tokens it's not real money obviously this is still an alpha mode it's just money to get your account funded so you can start playing with it and get a trading history this is our investment program page so if we want to we can check out let's check out inner gui let's check out their profile they seem to be, be doing pretty good so we can check out get a visual representation of their total profit their last reporting periods, how things look, their investor funds, their manager's funds, and their total profit. This is their a visual representation of their trader history. These are all of their trades, as well as what industries they're trading in, what trades they're placing. This one is trading in the Forex markets. So you can gauge other investors, and you, if you're creating a program, this is something you definitely want to look at, would be their management and their success fee, because you can then place your own management and success fee and get a competitive edge on other investors by offering a cheaper and more attractive fee than they do. Let's go to the dashboard. Because we just created an account, we do not have a program yet. So all of this right here is going to be empty. So let's go to the top right, create program. And now this is alpha mode. So Things don't exactly have to be completely professional. You don't have to have an incorporated business or anything like that. This is just playing around so you can get volume on the platform and the team can work out bugs, anything that might happen. And you can also show off your trading history. And there is a tournament going on right now, but by the time you watch this video, it will probably be closed. So for right now, let's click on upload to upload an image to the program and we're going to title our program for this video. We're going to call it Parker and Parker. Sounds professional. Let's do it. This is where you would enter your description. Your description should be something like your experience, um, what markets you have experience in. Um, if you're a group of traders or if you're just an individual um, that analyzes the markets and places trades. Uh, what kind of strategy you're going to do? Are you doing swing trading and trading on fundamentals? Are you doing long term investing? Are you doing day? Are you day trading? Are you scout trading? You're taking 5, 10, 15, 20 minute windows and taking very small percentages that adds up. 
So you explain your strategy, um, possibly even how you're going to balance out your portfolio, whether you're going to do half in crypto, half in Forex, or half in the Bitcoins, or 80% in the Bitcoins, 20% in the altcoins, whatever you're going to do, you can explain it because just like you, investors should have their own strategy and whatever strategy yours is, they want to be comfortable with it. So, you know, sell yourself here. For this, we'll just put in some filler text. Trading account password. So this is your password to um, your login details that Genesis Vision will send you after you click create program. So this all goes in the MetaTrader. So just put a password in here. It has to be an eight digit password minimum. So we'll go ahead and enter that. Then we'll choose broker server. So this is the broker service that you will use when you link up to MetaTrader, we're going to choose MetaTrader 5 for this demo and choose your own. Leverage. Leverage is the correlation between margin amount and trade volume. So obviously different leverage percentages have different risk. So this is all based on your strategy as well. Um, you can use 1%, 10%, or 100% of our options right here. We'll just go ahead and choose 1%. Period length is the duration of the reporting period estimated in days. So what this means is that you're going to choose a period, whether it be 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 10, 14 days. You choose one of those days. And what it means is that the, whatever you choose at the end of that period, let's say we choose two days, every two days you're going to have to close your trades and report it onto the Genesis Vision blockchain platform. And these will be, as we looked at the other investment programs, you saw all the trading history. That's what you have to report. So you have to have a strategy that aligns with your the period that you choose. And um, you can't just go and swing in and hope something hits, obviously. Choose a period and know that at the end of every one of those periods, you're required to report to the platform, close out your trades. And then after that, it can reopen. You can start accepting other investments and um, start over again with the same period. Start date is the date of a program start. It's June 6th today. So we'll just go ahead and choose June 7th and you can choose the time as well. This is when you want to start trading. Let's go ahead and do 12 p.m. Deposit amount and GVT is the amount of managers own funds invested in this program. So when you start, you're required to begin playing with your own money, to use your own money um, through MetaTrader to start trading with. As you can probably remember, when we created this manager account, Genesis Vision funded our account with 1,000 Genesis Vision tokens. So we can begin playing around with those. For the sake of this example, we'll just do 500 GBT. Um, multiply that times whatever the current rate of Genesis Vision is. And that's how much in US dollars you're going to be playing around with. Success fee is an additional successful trading fee that is charged from the investor's profit at the end of the reporting period. So... If you probably remember from uh, earlier on in this video, we went to momentum trading and their success fee was 15%, as well as their management fee, which is an obligatory annual fee charged at the end of the reporting period from the total amount of funds invested in this program. They set that to 15% as well. So the difference in a success and management fee is a success fee is if and when a manager is successful or you are successful with investors funds, you're going to charge them this amount out of how much ever you made them. So let's say you made them a thousand bucks and you set your success fee to 10%. You're going to take 10% of that $1,000 profit you gave them and that's going to pay you. So you would take $100 out of that 1,000 and you would give 900 to them. They chose 15%, pretty reasonable. I've seen anywhere from five to even 30%. I think the average is about 20%. So you wanna set something that gives you a competitive advantage and makes you more attractive to investors. So we'll go ahead and keep the 15% here. The management fee is the obligatory annual fee. So whether or not you are successful, whether or not you make wins or losses at the end of each reporting period, if you're reporting losses, um, you're still going to charge a management fee, which is pretty much a responsibility fee. So because you're in charge of their money and you're having to manage it, this is what you're going to charge them just for having it in your account. This should not be too much. I've seen as low as 2% and you saw momentum trading was 15%, which I think is a little unreasonable. So, you know, set yourself at a competitive rate. 
uh, we'll just do two percent because that's a very attractive fee. So your total fee that um, you're charging when you are successful and after you manage funds is seventeen percent of whatever profit you make. It's a pretty reasonable amount. Token name is a unique name to identify a manager's token. So our program is called Parker and Parker. So you'd probably want to name your token something in line with that. Um, whatever you call yours, you're gonna call it Parker token. Token symbol is a unique abbreviation used to identify a manager's token. So what this means is similar to how Bitcoin is BTC or Litecoin is LTC or Stellar is XLM. You're going to set yours different than other tokens are. And if you try to enter something that's already a token symbol, it's going to go ahead and tell you that's not going to work. So you have to get creative and do something else. We'll do PNP for Parker and Parker would be our token symbol. Once you're done, you want to click create program. And by the way, like I said, this has to be eight characters and your program title has to be less than 20 characters. If it's any more, it's going to give you an error and you're going to have to name your program something else or shorten the name. So click program. As you can see, because we funded our account with the 500 Genesis Vision tokens, it went ahead and took that out of our wallet. You can see the latest transactions here. Your program was created successfully. If you have any extensive questions or you need any technical help or anything along those lines that you would need a detailed answer for, go down here to the bottom right, click on the message icon. This is similar to any other website where you go in, you enter your name, your email, a subject, and your message, and you reach out to support. It should get back to you within 24 hours. If you need something less technical or if you have feedback or anything else, um, there's a form on the site where you can leave feedback directly as well as reach out to the subreddit at uh, our Genesis Vision or go to the telegram and reach out to the team or the admins or any community members there. There are a lot of people that are passionate and excited about this project and I'm sure you can get your answer very quickly. Now since we're waiting for our login details for MetaTrader to come in, we're gonna go ahead and check out our wallet which as I showed earlier, you know, they funded your account with 1000 Genesis Vision tokens and we withdrew 500 of that and deposited it into our investment program. And this will be a visual representation of that. It looks like this because we just created the account about 10 minutes ago. These buttons, when the platform is actually live and accepting real money, you know, you click in these buttons and you can deposit and withdraw as you would with any other exchange or wallet. Let's go check out and see if our email has come in. Yes, it has. So now we have our trading account information and our investment program information. We will use this to log in the MetaTrader. So let's go to the MetaTrader website. And we chose MetaTrader 5, so let's go to MetaTrader 5 and make sure you're at the secured website, HTTPS, and everything looks correct, that you're not on a phishing link. Uh, click download MetaTrader 5, that will bring you to this page, click it again, save file, go to the top right corner, open the file, allow it to make changes to your device read the licensing and terms of agreement next now you're waiting for it to download when this opens up it will pop up another web page that will give you information and will open up a forum so you can look on there learn about MetaTrader and learn about markets and whatnot you can either look into that or you can close it out and keep moving forward so click finish this will pop up your MetaTrader program so what you're looking at here is the official MetaTrader program that you had downloaded to your Incoming account. Incoming mail. You need to go back to your email that the Genesis Vision company sent to your sent to you, and you will use this information right here, the server name as well as your login and password to log in and begin trading. So in order to do that, you would go to File, Open an Account. You need to look for your broker. So let's go ahead and copy this. Paste this in here. F click find your broker. It's going to pull up just to trade. So do that. Click next. 
and because they sent you your login and password you need to do that so click connect with an existing trade account copy your login paste that here copy your password paste that here and you're on the just to trade server click finished and you are now logged into the MetaTrader platform so you can begin looking at charts using indicators learning about how the platform works you can close out these windows or if you're planning on forex you can start using them we chose two days so you have to have a strategy for when your period closes so be ready for that and it's going to track everything through your back end through um just to trade broker service and it will report to the Genesis Vision platform through that. After the first reporting period closes, then you can start accepting investments from investors that are on the platform. I hope this helps some of you out. And if you have any more questions, reach out to the team, reach out to them on Twitter or the subreddit or the support terminal or the Telegram. You can also go to their blog at medium uh, search genesis vision and there is guides for both setting up a metatrader logging in everything as well as setting up your manager portal account creating a, an investment program and so on